And printing the pose for the first race, the first division of the two-year-old Philly Pace, Ohio Sire Stakes, first leg. Being brought to the post by Outrider Kathy Hawk, a pace of one mile, a purse of $20,000. Win place show exact to trifecta, first half of the early daily double, a field of 10, drivers change on the nine, bang, bang, sister, the driver is Jeff Nysonger. Number one is Come On Susie, Hang On, owned by Michael Metters and Jerry Somers. They're both of the Buckeyes State, trained by Mike Metters with Jamie Dunlap. Number two is Jenny from the Block, owned by Brown, Washburn Parcel of Upper Sandusky, Ohio, trained by Brian Brown, Brett Miller. Number three is Parkett Ashley, owned by Robinson, Robinson, Mondello, and Cheatham. They're of Ohio and Tennessee, trained by Delvin Criswell with Bob Harper. Number four is Casaba, owned by Greg Grismore and Thomas Cummins. They're both of the Buckeye State, trained and driven by the Grizz, Greg Grismore. Number five is Cam's Bright Light, owned by Brambley, Oaks, Posty, and Cox. They're all of Ohio, trained by Scott Cox with Todd Jones. Number six is Pan and Teller, owned by the Peter Pan Stables Incorporated of Pepper Pike, Ohio, trained by Ivan Sugg with Jay Duke Sugg at the lines. Number seven is Lobro Sammy, owned by Kenneth Bright of Warren, Ohio, and Betsy Bright of Stevenson, Alabama, trained by Jim Artledge Jr. with Dallas Miller. Number eight is Dressy Gow, owned by Cindy Nasty of Utica, Ohio, trained by Mike Roth, Dave Hawk. From the outside of the nine is Bang Bang Sister, owned by Todd Brasket of London, Ohio, and Roy Bradley of Sedalia, Ohio, trained by Todd Brasket with a driver's change to Jeff Nysonger. And scoring from off the second tier, number 10, Tammy Lou, owned by the Gwynny Lou Stables Limited of Xenia, Ohio, trained by Travis Redden, Sam Chip Noble III, is in her sulky. That's the field for the first race, first division of the two-year-old Philly Page. Race, first division, two-year-old Philly Pacers, first leg of Ohio Sire Stakes action, down to a field of nine with a scratch of the two, Jenny from the block, lame. The gate swings into the back stretch. Getting set to kick off the early daily double, field in motion. They're all fan pacing and firing away in the middle of the track. There goes the six, Pan and Teller from the inside. There is Parkett Ashley as they drive into the first turn and over to the opening quarter. From the way outside, there is Bang Bang Sister. Away and forth is Come On Susie, Hang On. And all the inside from off the second tier in front, that is Tammy Lou. Sixth on the inside is Casava. Seventh on the inside as they race towards the opening quarter is Cam's Bright Light. Then we come back to the two trailers, which are Dressy Gao and Lobro. Sammy and Dallas can see them all. As they move by the opening quarter, the opening quarter came and went in 28 and 2 fouls, and they'll pass by the stands for the first time and head on down to the half. And come on, Susie, hang on, and Dunlap has brushed her to the top here as they roll out of the half, ro roll out of the wire with 5 eighths of a mile remaining. Come on, Susie, hang on with the lead. Park and Ashley is in the garden spot, racing in two. Pan and Teller is racing in third. First to flush on the outside, racing in fourth. That is Tammy Lou, who is towing along Cammy's, Cam's bright light as they race around the clubhouse, turn it over to the half. They're halfway home here in 58 and three fifths off the turn and driving down the backside heads are pointed towards three quarters and on top of the field come on Susie hang on with the lead here and leads it by a length and a quarter to the inside stocking in second that is Parkett Ashley first over on the rim racing in third that is Tammy Lou second over on the outside racing in fourth that is Cam's bright light to the inside buried in five is Pan and Teller third over on the outside racing in six that is Dressy Gal as they approach the three quarter mile mark of the race three quarters on the board in 127 and two Fafs. They'll pace the final turn and head for home. And come on, Susie, hang on to the inside with the lead here. But up on the outside, racing into that is Tammy Lou. And Tammy Lou is breathing down her neck as they turn to the top of Heartbreak Lane. Less than an eighth of a mile to go. And down the stretch they come. Come on, Susie, hang on to the inside. Tammy Lou has struck the frontier. But come on, Susie, hang on is battling back as they drive within the final 16th. Tammy Lou. Tammy Lou remains undefeated and takes the first division of the two year old Philly Pace. Ohio Sire Stakes. Finishing second was the one. Come on, Susie, hang on. It was close for third. The time of the mile, 157. One uh, Tammy Lou with a new lifetime mark. Track side of the winner's circle to be greeted by Chrissy Fount, as she'll do throughout the afternoon. Here's the 10. Tammy Lou is undefe undefeated in her early career here. Now 2 of 2 in 2003 is a two-year-old Bay Philly by Park Place out of a Gwynny Lou. She buys Stonebridge Skipper is owned by the Gwynny Lou Stables Limited of Xenia, Ohio, trained by Travis Redden. Nicely handled here this afternoon by winning driver Sam Chip Noble III. Remaining undefeated, two of two, lifetime mark, 157, one fifth, Tammy Lou. 
in the winner's circle to make the trophy presentation to the winners here, the director of racing at Soudadown, Stacy Christie.